What's up guys, Will here. So this is a video about comparing the th thermal properties for turbo versus high. Any other mode is just worthless in my opinion. So I have the thermal areas uh, basically on the head and, and, and on the handle of the flashlight. So the purpose of this is to determine how comfortable it is to hold in your hand and uh, determine how is the thermal properties. Okay, so as you notice, most of the heat is coming from right above the switch, and that is where the heat sink is, and the LEDs are right above that. So that makes sense. Um, on the turbo side, it's definitely extending towards the reflector in the head area. Um, the handles look good for both of them. They're quite cool, on, especially on the high on the handles, especially at the bottom. So definitely still comfortable right now we are approaching one minute at this point okay so uh i know that turbo at one minute 50 is going to kick down in terms of the temperature reading so about there the output quick kicks down so let me explain as well that uh there's a light fan running over the flashlight to simulate an outdoor environment so here we are at about one minute and 30 seconds. And the turbo is getting more warmer on the handle, so it's getting a little bit more uncomfortable and high is perfectly fine to hold, no problem. So very, fairly flat on the high in terms of the handle and the head temperature, very, very good. And um, one minute 50 now, okay, so I'll speed up the footage, it's about five times sped up at this point, um, and you'll notice that the the temperature is dropping on the on the turbo, on the head area. So uh, it's definitely kicked down the output, and then it will start cooling down on the high, the handle is warming up, it is now three minutes and a half, but still at the tail cap area, so if you're holding in the area, it's still going to be cool enough and comfortable enough to hold. No problem. Uh, I wanted to comment on the fins that's on the head. It's towards the end of the head. I think, in my opinion, that's more decorative than useful because um, that part heats up mostly in turbo mode. So, yeah, could it cool down? Sure, probably in turbo mode, but in other modes, it's not as useful. If the fins were lower next to the switch, then maybe it would be okay. All right, so yeah, already done with the turbo. Um, and I'm going to extend this high mode much more longer just to see how it does until basically the thermal app crashes. Okay, on the left side, what you're looking at is the cells after you pull it out of a turbo and you're looking at the cells about 44 Celsius, not too bad, not nothing extreme. Um, so the thermal regulation is pretty good. So it drops down at the right time. So it doesn't battery doesn't get cooked Okay, approaching 10 minutes for the high mode and Yeah, you know if you look at the both the head and the handle it's it's reached like a it's pretty fairly flat still Approaching 11 minutes. So it's the handle is getting warmer but still manageable. And to think this is with no hand holding onto the handle with your own hand blood, you know, pulling the heat away from the flashlight. So this is just a standalone tail stand flashlight. Okay, that's it.